hello everyone welcome to part 2 of laravel interview series uh, so in this video uh, we are going to look for the history of laravel uh, though chances are very less that interview may ask uh, for the history of laravel uh, but uh, we must get prepared for everything uh, even the chances are less but uh, uh, even there is a slight chance you, we can say that five to ten percent chance that the interviewer may ask about the history of laravel uh, so let's see uh, about the history so uh, see laravel is created by taylor otwell in june 2011 uh, like i have told in first uh, part okay so the taylor otwell uh in june 2011 developed the laravel so uh why the taylor otwell what comes in taylor otwell mind uh, that uh, laravel uh, must get developed uh, so uh, there is a reason behind it see code igniter framework does not provide some kind of certain features like uh, uh, built-in support for user authentication and authorization and for these drawbacks, uh, Taylor Otwell thinks that uh, new uh, PHP framework Laravel can overcome uh, the uh, drawbacks of Code Igniter framework. And uh, so uh, he developed the Laravel framework. Okay, uh, so uh, it's the alternative uh, to the Code Igniter. So that's why Laravel is developed uh, to remove the drawbacks. Uh, okay. Uh, to prevent the drawbacks of the code connector framework so laravel beta version uh, released on june 9 2011 and in the same month in the month of june itself laravel 1 released okay so the interviewer may ask you that on uh, that when laravel 1 version released then you can uh, tell that in june 2011 laravel 1 version release then the another question interviewer may ask that what are the features provided in the first version of laravel okay then uh, you must have some kind of clue some kind of idea okay uh, and uh, and uh, let's see what uh, thing is provided in laravel 1 laravel 1 included built-in support for authentication models views sessions routing but lacked support for controllers that prevented it from being a true mvc framework so it's the big thing laravel does not come with mvc framework okay so interviewer may ask you that uh, which version of laravel sports mvc uh, framework or from which version uh, mvc framework start does laravel sport uh, laravel one sport mvc framework no it does not support because there are no controllers at all in laravel one so you must get aware of this thing as you are going to become the laravel developer so you must know about the history of laravel as well okay when it is launched who launched it and what are the version history versions of laravel and what uh, and how it is going to develop how the new features are coming from version to version okay so all these things are important okay you must be aware of all these things any of your friend relative or even interviewer may ask you uh, in the interview okay so you must be aware of all these things so the controllers does not come in laravel one other things are there modern view uh, are there sessions are there routing uh, uh, was there but controllers not there at all and we let's see that when controllers come let's see about laravel 2 so laravel 2 was released in september 2011 here you can see uh, almost after few months laravel 2 released and the laravel 2 released with the mvc framework so for the first time controllers comes in laravel 2 in laravel 2 itself mvc framework comes okay so lara in laravel 2 mvc framework comes in laravel 2 controllers come so make it full mvc framework okay so uh, interviewer may ask you that in which version uh, the controller comes in laravel then you can say in it's in laravel 2 when a controller comes and it's in laravel 2 when complete mvc framework comes okay so it's the big thing so uh, let's see another one 
See, Laravel 3 was released in February 2012. After almost after six months, in the next year 2012, Laravel 3 was released with the new features like command line interface artisan okay so uh, see this question we have seen in the uh, first part of uh, laravel interview series that what are artisan commands and see we are using it a lot uh, for making the migration files for making the model controller for running the project so this artisan command not come in laravel uh, 1 not there in laravel 2 but it launched in laravel 3 so interviewer may ask you that in which version of laravel artisan commands come then you will say it comes in laravel 3 okay so along with that what comes built-in support for more database management system database migration so see we have created almost all table with migration in laravel e-commerce series and these migrations come in laravel 3 it does not come in the first video of Lara first version of laravel it comes in uh, laravel 3 version so interviewer may ask you that from which version of laravel migrations come in from which you are going to create the table it comes in laravel 3 okay so laravel 3 becomes popular uh, at the time of laravel 3 version as it started uh, uh, uh sporting so many features okay so let's see let's uh, see which version of laravel comes after this so laravel 4 was released in may 2013 okay so what are the features here so for the first time composer see this composer question we have seen in the first version of laravel uh, interview series that what are composers so this composer itself launched in the laravel 4 version okay so it does not come in the first version no second version no third version it comes in laravel 4 version okay so uh, interviewer may ask you that from which version uh, we can use the composer in laravel so you can answer that it's from laravel 4 and along with the composer you can see uh, database seeding so database seeding we have used almost in every uh, for every table we have inserted the data with the help of seeder file so this seeding comes in laravel 4 okay so and also built-in support for sending different type of emails so we have also seen uh, that uh, we can send the emails offline as well as online from laravel projects uh, and see all these have launched in the laravel 4 okay so uh, you must be aware of this thing as well so let's see what comes next laravel 5 was released in february 2015 as a result of internal changes and the main thing that comes with laravel 5 is scheduling okay so what is scheduling exactly scheduling is a like uh, cron jobs cron jobs we have seen in the previous uh, videos uh, okay if you will search uh, my stack developers youtube channel you are going to see that what cron jobs are exactly so uh, scheduling is a kind of thing uh, that uh, laravel runs at the back end of the server uh, so that our processes will keep on going so we used uh, for apis basically uh, for uh, running the things at the back end like uh, uh, so many apis we are doing uh like for the payment gateways api we are doing if some uh, some customer uh, have made the payment but uh, payment director from his account but not appeared in the website uh, but that api is scheduled uh, to run at the back end uh, so that it can test at the payment gateway and and can update the website okay so these things we have done a lot of time in the laravel e-commerce series as well when you will follow the laravel e-commerce series you will come to know about the scheduling as well okay uh, as uh, cron job is uh, uh, is the alternative for the scheduling okay so this scheduling has come in laravel 5 so the interviewer may ask you that uh, in which version of laravel scheduling comes okay so along with scheduling there are some more things launched in laravel 5 uh, like storage like storage comes in laravel 5 uh, for uh, for keeping the images and other things as uh, in in a secured way okay that we will see in future videos as well and uh, new internal directory tree structure also comes in laravel 5 okay so let's see what comes next 
so uh, there are many versions that comes like laravel 5.1 launched laravel 5.3 launched laravel 5.4 launched with uh, uh, some new features okay uh, so you can simply check those uh, new features like uh, laravel 5.1 comes with the lts port lts means long term support okay laravel 5.3 uh, that launched on august 23 2016 uh, comes with the improving developer speed okay by additional out of box improvements for common task and laravel 5 5.4 uh, released uh, on january 2 uh, january 24 2017 with the features like laravel dusk laravel mix blade components and uh, slots markdown emails automatic packets uh, route improvements higher order messaging okay so these kind of improvements come with the laravel uh, 5 okay so you can explain all this in laravel 5 that these kind of improvements comes in laravel 5 if the interviewer may ask you for so laravel 6 so we have started our laravel e-commerce project in laravel 6 and i have the detailed features of laravel 6 if you will watch my videos you have see you will see that uh, we uh, we have developed that new features of laravel 6 you will see lot of new features and this is semantic versioning improved authorization responses improved job middleware sub queries okay so the front end scaffolding was moved from the main package and moved into the laravel ui package you have seen in the beginning of laravel 6 series laravel 6 e-commerce series we have installed the laravel ui package for the authentication so now we have the separate package for the authentication we need to install laravel ui package for the authentication that if you will follow the series uh, or the friends who are following my series uh, uh, know about this thing that in the first version of laravel 6 e-commerce series we have installed this laravel ui package so that we will get the separate authentication Uh, okay as the laravel provide but before that laravel authentication comes in uh, comes uh, that is inbuilt like laravel 5 versions and laravel 4 versions have the inbuilt authentication but uh, from laravel 6 we need to install the package for it laravel ui package okay and other features are also explained uh, okay so you can uh, watch the other videos as well and if we interviewer may ask you can tell uh, that laravel ui package is the new thing that comes with laravel 6 and its advantage okay so let's see now so laravel 7 was released on march 3 2020 with the features like laravel sanctum laravel airlock so these features uh, see uh, we will cover in laravel api series uh, these features meant to generate the multiple uh, api token uh, okay for the token it's like the passport package that we have used for generating the authorization token okay so you are going to see very soon in api series as well so these are the kinds of improvement that comes with laravel 7 and in laravel 8 these few features have released in laravel 8 and it's launched on september 8 2020 so you must be aware of laravel 8 so because it is the current version of laravel at this time it's uh, in 2021 we are making this video in august 2021 and it's the current version laravel 8 is the current version so you must be aware that when it was launched it was launched on september 8 2020 interviewer may ask you that what are the new features and the chances are more uh, that interview may ask you that laravel 8 what are the laravel 8 new features and we have the separate video for this one see separate model folder for the first time we have the separate model folder it's very simple separate we have the separate models folder for models okay so you need to keep your models in the separate models folder and the next one is the php addition serv enhancements so what it does it means like if you will update something in dot env file like if you will update the database or if you will add something in that file then you no need to restart the laravel in the earlier version you are required to restart the laravel but now you are not required to restart the laravel so uh, that is the big advantage of laravel 8 big uh, feature that comes with the laravel 8 so routing namespace change so there is a change in the laravel 8 uh, that you need to give the complete path uh, with the routes uh, if you will see the series uh, i have explained this so many times okay uh, that uh, we need to make changes with the 
uh, routes we need to give the uh, full uh, namespace okay so you can check those and there are much more improvements if you will see that laravel 8 new features series i will also share okay in this video uh, that you can see so uh, these are the things in the history of laravel okay so you must be aware of laravel history you must be aware of the all versions of laravel okay so uh, you must get ready for everything interviewer may ask you anything from laravel okay so that's all for now we will come up with new laravel basic questions very soon so stay tuned for that thank you everyone